Hello people, welcome back. Uh, today's segment is about talking to an individual, a car and a bike lover, and he is also an ex race car driver and a very good friend of mine. Now, as you all can see, I'm now here at Lamborghini Malaysia, tracking him down. So, let's go and check out his toys. Come. Ron, happy Chinese New Year. Thank you for you seeing again. me. Thank yeah. you for seeing me. You promised me a ride some time back. Yeah, so I'm now, now, I, now yeah. I have the time finally, uh, you know, making this uh, possible with you. Mm. So I'm looking forward to uh, ride with you in okay. your Muchi. And All I heard right. it's a manual, right? Yes, yes. Come, let's yes. go. Come. Look at this, look at this baby. Glass. She's still <laughs> hot and sexy. After what, 19 years? Yeah. This is 19 years old. 19 My years goodness. old. Yeah. And it's matte. <coughs> Titanium color, beautiful finish with black wheels. All right. Wow, check out the smell. A <laughs> nice <laughs> Italian smell. <laughs> people welcome back to our studio i'd like to welcome a very good friend of mine ron lim and that's rudy you already know who is he so uh today's chapter it's about the journey of ron now many of you may not have heard of him ron has been racing almost his entire life during batu tiga time so before sepang we have this track called batu tiga which is where we are sitting right now not too far away from here and uh as a young boy I envy Ron a lot. I, you know, I bet my father uh, take me to the track so that I can watch all the racing. Remember that weekend, I saw many, many race cars that I can only dream of. And uh, we have BMW, the E36, we have the RX7, the famous RX7. Uh, I didn't know who was the driver then until many years later uh, when me and Ron became friends. Then I found out that he's actually the driver of the RX7. So today, this segment here is to talk about Ron's journey, uh, how he came about, his racing time uh, back then, and how he, uh, where he is today. So, Ron, thank you very much for coming down. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. So, yes, my too. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. And uh, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself uh, during your childhood time? So, how things back then? Uh, basically, I'm from Klang. I'm born in Klang. My father is a local boy. A local boy, yeah. My father is actually a government servant. A government servant. Yeah. But I've always had this passion to race car. Right. To race a car. And of course, at that time, we were watching uh, people like uh, uh, Niki Lauda, uh, Alan Prost, right. or 
even these are all my heroes. Uh, these are the yeah, yeah. Old, long time uh, race car driver and right. also bikers. Right. Yeah. I'm supposed to race bike okay. actually instead of cars. Right. Uh, where, uh, Barry Sheen is my big idol. Barry right. Sheen, Kenny Roberts. This uh, before Arthur Michael, 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 Wow. Yeah. Okay. I never throw any of them away. I keep until today. Okay. I have got almost one whole house of magazine right. that I used to purchase. Uh, so it was from there right. that I always wanted to be uh, a race car, race car driver or right. a bike racer. Right. Okay. My father used to tell us that if you are, if you want to do any racing, <laughs> please after your study leave the house. We don't want to hear. <laughs> we so, don't want every time you go to the racetrack, we are worried about you, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. This is a typical Asian mentality. Father, not father. just your father. My yeah. father, my mom did the same thing to yeah. me as well. Typical, we call it the typical Asian mentality. Okay. Yeah. You know, the Kailong, the foreigner true. mentality, they're different. Yeah. Yeah. They believe motorsport is a career. Yeah. But being Asian, our Asian family, they don't believe motorsport is a career. Yeah. They don't even understand what, yeah. what is motorsport yeah. all about. Early year during your childhood time, mm. uh, your first work, uh, you going through pretty tough time. It, it wasn't easy for you, right? It wasn't like food on the table for you. Everything was there for you, you know. Oh, so you yeah. had to earn your yeah, living. Yeah, you had to earn our living. My father is very. Uh, uh, I always remember what he told us after we finish our uh, form five because we, there's probably not enough uh, finance to continue to study. Right. <coughs> They always told us that uh, go and make your own money. I don't need any money from you, but please don't come and take money from me too. <laughs> as long as you know how to take care of yourself. Yeah, don't take worry care about of yourself, Don't come yeah. and ask money from us. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. So tell me your first supercar. At the time I set my mind to other than do motorsports was to buy a Ferrari. Like Which model then? That, that I time? bought a 308. 308, uh, okay. I bought a 308 when I was 25 years old. Okay, uh, Ron. Mm. Tadi yes. cerita uh, first supercar you beli pada umur 25 tahun. Muda tau tu. Very young. Uh, mm. Very Muda. impressive. Ron. Uh, uh, ramai orang macam saya sendiri sampai umur sekarang dekat 40 pun tak tahu lagi cara nak pakai <laughs> Ferrari. Okay. So boleh tak ajar kita orang sikit yang kita orang ni sometimes kita pun berangan juga ada angan-angan nak pakai supercar tapi kita tak tahu cara tu Ron. Oh. Boleh tak bagi sikit orang kata Ah, uh, macam mana nak ada ni Ferrari ni? Okay, for me it was the it was the passion. It was the passion to actually have the Ferrari, and I want to have it tomorrow. I I got to do it. I got to have it immediately. Uh, so I I I learned a lot of things. I learned a lot of it, uh, uh, being positive, and I think I think a very important thing is in life uh, we must knock at the door, then the door will open. If we don't knock, it doesn't open. So I do all kind of things. I try to find a job that can make a lot of money. Uh, example, yeah. Yeah. But of course, uh, I get people's advice and they told me to be a car salesman, which is actually not, not really right as well. So I went and became a car salesman and I worked very hard. I only leave the office at 10 o'clock. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. I will start as early as possible. I leave at 10 p.m. I, I want to stay in the office but the boss didn't allow. So I actually stay as near as possible to the office. So instead of using the time to travel to the office or back home, I use it to work. Because I want to buy that Ferrari. Ferrari. Uh, the only reason you kerja sampai pukul 10 malam tu pasal Ferrari je? Yeah, I just want to buy that Ferrari. My mind is so focused. My passion is so strong. I just want to buy that Ferrari. Before I am 25 years old. Okay, now 
that's your racing journey. Uh, let's talk about a bit of your toys, oh. your current toys today. <laughs> yeah, and today, the toys that you brought here is a Musha Lago. All right. Mm. Now, I don't know you know about Musha Lago. The word is a Musha Lago is actually not Italian. Oh. Do you know that? Yeah, I, yeah. Mushalago is actually a Spanish word. Oh. The meaning of Mushalago is actually bad. This is not just a Mushalago, but it's actually a menu Mushalago. How many of those of this, I mean, uh, in oh, Malaysia? In Malaysia. Maybe I, I would believe they are like. Uh, Two or three units. Okay, so that's very rare. Yeah, two menu. or three units yeah. in Malaysia. Menu, yeah. Okay, okay. Would you be kind enough to uh, walk around the car and uh, show us a few things on the car? Yeah, Shall sure. We? Come. Right, Ron. Yes, then. We know that this is a menu 2002 Mushalago. A 6.2 liter V12. I would say it's the first sort of modern Lamborghini. Yeah. It's the first generation one. Right. Uh, but it looks so beautiful. I know. Yeah. It's it looks so beautiful even after so many years. It's 19 years old design yeah. and yeah. it still looks super so gorgeous. You know? This uh, this group when mm -hmm. the <coughs> when the engine or when the water temperature is hot, this thing will open the up. The van will uh, open up. Yeah. yeah. To have the more to suck in more air, air yeah, for uh, more air to be inside. Okay. Yeah. Can you show us about yeah. the door? Well this car is famous with its Caesar yeah, door, the right? The Caesar's door. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Actually, How beautiful is that? Door, yeah. Actually, if you actually use this car for a while because of the size of the car, mm -hmm. actually you appreciate the scissors door mm -hmm. because you can actually park quite near to a car and still right, come out right. from the we car. Don't have to right? like the ah. conventional door where you have to yeah. open all the way, right? Well designed, you, you looks can good. still open it and you still come out. Correct. Yeah. Not ah. ideal for girls with skirt though. <laughs> oh, it's ideal for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. That's this the heart uh, and soul. Yeah, the Lamborghini engine. This is a beautiful. Visual. Lamborghini makes really good carbon fiber. You know? This mm -hmm. is like, like uh, almost twenty years, and it's still and it shining. Still good, yeah, yeah. It still yeah. looks good. Yeah. Yeah, and no. you know that the Mushilago, uh, almost yeah. every part of the body is mm -hmm. carbon fiber, right? Except the roof and the door. You mean all these bodies are carbon fiber? Carbon fiber. <laughs> no carbon kidding fiber. me. Carbon oh, fiber. Wow. Carbon fiber. They're okay. All carbon fiber talking for so long i don't know where is rudy mm. rudy is missing rudy where are you rudy oh there you oh. are come on what have you been doing all this time yeah. ah, i talked enough with ron so it's your turn now okay so it's your turn to take over okay okay guys sekarang kita dah ada dekat dalam cockpit uh, musi lago mm. so pada akulah ron eh mm. bila kita masuk je kereta ni ibarat kita masuk dalam bilik tidur You. <laughs> ah. <laughs> macam mana you jaga kereta you dalam ni ialah melambangkan macam mana you punya experience dan juga you punya bilik tidur. Hmm. So masuk je kat bilik tidur you ni, I rasa dia ada luxury and class and I nampak you ialah seorang yang sangat simple pasal tak ada langsung apa-apa aksesori yang yang tak sepatutnya dekat dalam ni. Ha. So <coughs> boleh tak you explain sikit satu persatu okay. apa yang ada Uh, bestnya pasal musim lagu ni sebab oh. the only thing yang kita orang tahu sekarang ni tadi you ada cakap pasal the only manual mungkin satu atau dua kat Malaysia kan hmm. but rather than this manual first you boleh explain sikit tak pasal manual gear ni uh, ok uh, I think this one is uh, started uh, many years ago I think during the 60s the 60s, 60s uh, uh. the manual gear uh, have these slots have this mm. uh these slots uh and it, it's a little bit clunky you can hear the sound you know? it's like uh, but then this is what we all love not to yeah, hear uh, racing uh, uh, yeah racing. Uh. and and this is this is make a solid metal solid metal uh, the gear stick you, you know it, this is all solid metal here yeah. mm. okay lamborghini of course the modern lamborghini all also have the e-gear system they are essentially uh manual with uh electronic helping you to change the gear yeah. you know, or the e-gear system or the F1 gearbox uh, but then uh, they have to use uh, uh, 
uh, electronic or actuator to actually push the clutch in uh, to put in the gear for you you know mm, to, to but then to do it manually it's it's uh, to do it manually by ourselves as a driver sometimes it's it's very satisfying yeah. it's very satisfying to do it you know unless you are of course e-gear can make you a better driver Senang you can lah. actually drive faster Senang yeah lah. but sometimes we don't want we want to enjoy without pushing ourselves so the manual actually give you a chance to do that ah uh, dia punya interior pun ada leather yeah, memang kita masuk motor tadi dah bau leather mm. and then uh, dia dibuat dengan tangan juga kan yeah all of, all of the parts yeah. by hand right the uh, basically the interior is all almost all handmade sometimes you can see it's not like totally straight because Betul. it's it's handmade mm. you know uh, so Ron hmm. thanks for the explanation of the interior yeah. uh, yeah. yang paling I suka of course lah which is the door yeah. and then bila yeah. I duduk pun memang this spacious kan dia tak adalah yeah, spacious hmm. yeah. this is a actually this is a huge car it's big yeah. ok kita tak nak cakap panjang-panjang right. kita nak suruh Ron belanja kita how to start and mungkin boleh bagi kita bagi dia nyanyi sikit ok let's start I especially love the early part when the start uh, when the starter is pushing the engine. Yeah. Oh, I can feel like just a little moving. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the engine vibrate. Uh, macam yeah. kejut you tau. Bangun, bangun, bangun. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. oh. <laughs> now the bad boy speed. This is an angry bull. <laughs> angry bull. Angry bull. <laughs> oh shit, man. Okay guys. It's wonderful. Hmm, oh. macam tu lah the musi manual, musi menu. Musi menu. <laughs> musi menu. Musi menu. Musi menu. Ah, punya suara. Alright, thank you very much, bro. Right, boys and girls, we have now come to the end of the show, and Ron, I want to thank you so much for coming down here and share with us your amazing story. It's really, really inspiring and. Uh, I love it, okay? So, thank you for watching, guys, and uh, do leave us a comment if any. And Rudy? Um, ya, yeah, selalu kita tengok kereta ni dekat toy atau Google je. So, orang kata, tak, 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 tak kenal maka tak cinta. Tengok depan-depan, it's very gorgeous. I don't know, like lady or man or... So, Ron, thank you for datang. Thank you so much. Okay, maybe you can show us... Uh, more of your toys of your toys the next episode all right yang paling penting ialah aku nak bagi tahu kat korang budak lelaki dia takkan membesar ni ha, macam kita borak dengan Ron dia macam budak lagi eh. dia tak nampak pun macam dah uh, di mamah usia ke uh, aku rasa hanya luaran saja ha, macam kita dah tua kita nampaklah tua tu tapi kita masih muda sampai bila-bila yes. Alright <laughs> Lastly, again, I want to apologize for the background noises I'm pretty sure you heard dogs singing, dogs crying, cats, <laughs> go-kart, whatever All the noises around us Again, I apologize on behalf of the team because we are situated at the rest track And the cats have dogs everywhere So sorry about that We hope you guys are inspired by Ron's story And um, we'll see you on the next episode Bye guys